Hello everyone and welcome back to another Universe Sandbox video and today we're going to be doing another object competition video. So, before we get on to today's competition guys, as always we need to go over the results of the previous competition and that was the Young Planet competition. So if I get the uh, results up here, so... Looking here. Okay, looks like De Munich has taken yet another victory. That's his third win of this season now. So he is yeah, he's getting ahead of everyone this season, isn't he? So he's got his uh, third win, and that was with his planet here. So that was the one with the big crater on it here, as we can see. So yeah, that one with the... Uh... It was a pretty wild-looking one, I have to say. I think it was a very, very nice one as well. We also had this one here as well. I think that was one... Was it Chris who submitted that one? I can't remember. That was a cool one. I did like this one as well, I have to say. Um, yeah, so it was between him and Minor Bat came in second place. Uh, which one was Minor Bat's? Um... Ah, remember to put your name in, guys. See, this is where I don't I don't know who might which one Minor Bat's one was. It I'm assuming I think it was this one, if I remember right. So yeah, there is that. That was the one that, that one did look pretty cool as well. Um, but yeah, there we are. So that does it for last competition, guys. So again, congrats to uh, De Munich for taking another victory to add to his plate of victories this season. Uh, but yeah, without further ado, moving on to today's competition. Okay, everyone. So moving on to today's competition, we are going to be doing a planet that suffered from some mythology-related apocalypse. So this is going to be a pretty wild one, a pretty interesting um scenario as well here so without further ado let's see what you guys have prepared for us today so let's go over to the list like always okay where are we they should be down here oh okay right so there's our list of objects here okay so first up we got troll Egis. let me go ahead and get the uh descriptions out okay so let's spawn it in let's see what he has got for us whoa so earth question mark is what he has called this and oh my god what has happened here okay Oh. oh my god, that looks completely rude. What has happened there? Right, okay. So, he has put, In the 63rd millennium, the creators of our simulation thought it would be really funny if they completely messed up our homeworld. This is what it looks like now. So I guess this is in the uh, scenario of life is a simulation, is kind of what I'm getting from this. Okay, interesting stuff. So, let's have a little look. Let's see what is going on here. So, whoa. Now, that is definitely something that has been really messed around with. I mean, look at the state of that. I mean, whoa. And the city lights look really cool. So, that's what it used to look like. So, you can see where the constants would have been. But not anymore. I really like the purple lights on it. I think they look really cool. So this would have been Europe by the looks of it. You can see where the UK would have been, Africa. Yeah, okay. Wow. That is a decimated looking earth. Look at the state of that. That is pretty extreme stuff. Okay, so that is what Chowiji has got for us. So that is the earth question mark. Next up, we have got Endy's object. Earth but turned into a brown dwarf by the Universe Sandbox developers. Okay, woo. Right, it's a small island here. What is this all about? Right, so... That looks well and truly glitched out. Oh my god. Okay. Here is my submission. Universe Sandbox developers thought it was fun to make a game that changes solar system in real life. Earth collected a lot of gas and it is a brown dwarf star now. Please remove the water and re wait. Please remove the water and re add about 0.04%. Okay. Right. So remove the water, that's what you get. And then he said to re add it to 0.04%. So that's roughly there 0.04%. That's what it looked like already. Okay, so let's have a little look underneath. So, what is all this about? Whoa, so atmosphere off, water off. Oh, so it's like blacked out water. Whoa, okay, interesting stuff. We can see what it looks like with less. That looks crazy. Huh. Oh, wow. Oh my god, look at that. That looks cool. So, there you go. What do you think of that? That is extremely crazy. As it sometimes makes you remove and re-add in the water, usually fix it. Um, if it does not look like how it does on the thumbnail. So what does the thumbnail look like? Uh, the thumbnail roughly looks like that, I'd say. Okay. So there's that. Cool. 
All right, so let's actually make this guy smaller as well because it's way too big here. So let's. So you make it smaller, it also upsets it as well. So let's just go ahead and pull it there. We'll quickly uh, add the water back just to make it look uh, correct again. So need a bit more this time around, I think. Is that gonna remove and add again? Ah, there you go. So let's just try and get it correct. See roughly where you wanted it. So that was uh, something like that, wasn't it? Yeah. But we've made it smaller, so yeah, that's rough. That's roughly really what it looked like. Okay. So there's that. Next up, we have got Compact Stars object. This is called Icarus. So that's spawned it in. Whoa. Okay, so here is Icarus. Okay, so what has he given us for this? His description. Here is my submission. It is based on the legend of Icarus getting too close to the sun. Icarus is a planet orbit in a K-type star in the constellation of Cygnus. It has an ultra short orbital period and as such is an extremely hot planet with the highest temperatures on the planet exceeding 140 or 1400k. It has vast red oceans and lakes of melted silicates and even silicate snow and ice caps causing the planet to appear red and glossy. Icarus also boosts a high mass at around 5 Earth masses. It approaches the mass of many Neptunes as one of the most massive terrestrial planets. It has an abnormally low density when compared to the other large terrestrial planets suggesting that it is less iron rich. Okay. That's a pretty crazy looking object. All right. Next up, we have got from VY Canis Majura. It's been a while since we've seen him, actually. So here it is. Here's what he has got for us. Whoa. Okay. So he has put here my grand return. Definitely not stolen from. I don't know how to say that name. It is. Uh, if it's all weird, turn on surface illumination. No, it looks all right, actually. Yeah, you can see it all looks good. Okay. Story of King Midas, uh, but he touches the ground. Worth at least two doubloons. Rip Earth, LMAO. All of the Earth materials are, are reorganised into gold. Since gold is more than three times denser on average, the Earth, the planet pulled itself back together, killing all life and boiling the oceans, replacing the Earth with hills of searing gold as a top layer of the planet instantly liquefied, pouring into temporary gold oceans. Uh, quite, so it's like a golded out Earth. Interesting. Let's have a little look underneath, see what that's all about. So there it is. Obviously got a custom texture on there, probably using one of the... Uh, that looks like one of Saturn's moons, I want to say. Um, but there it is, okay. So atmosphere and clouds on it as well. So that's a mere Midas touched gold planet. So the planet of gold. Pretty cool. Let's make it bigger. There we go. Okay, so there's that. Okay, next up we have got... So this is from the user Backdash. I believe they have never submitted before. Whoa, okay, here it is. Right, so. Backdash. Where are you? Where's the thing? Uh, this is a world of the creature of night. A dark ancient entity which has created the world full of ancient evil and dark creatures entities such as Wendigo's creatures of the undead spirits and many others. Okay, so it's a really spooky looking planet. Okay, so here we go. Whoa, 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 what is that all about? So clouds, so that's cloud. Whoa, they're clouds? Interesting, look, okay. Atmosphere's there. What is this all about? Water? Ice? Ah, that's ice. Okay, snow. All right, he's got different patches of area. City lights. Any city lights? There is some somewhere, but they're not really showing up by the looks of it. Okay. Now that looks pretty spooky. Clouds, atmosphere. So... That's what's underneath all the clouds and atmosphere. It's a very, very dark, mysterious looking world indeed. Okay, there you go. So that's a pretty cool one. Right, next up we have got this object here from Minabat. So let's go ahead and spawn theirs in. Whoa, what has happened here? Rainbow God. And that is a rocky planet with a almost rainbow gas giant look. Okay. Right. One day, a bunch of gods were having a competition and the winner got a planet to do whatever they want with. The rainbow god won and made their planet into a giant rainbow planet. This was not very fun for the inhabitants, so as their life got very hard, but they still do exist. This was made using planetscaping tools, no mods at all. There are six independent things that can get an independent colour on a rocky planet in the game. High altitude, medium altitude, low altitude, ocean, ice and snow. Ah, okay. 
I did my best to planet scaping to make them all on the planet. I could not do a gas giant since I wanted a rocky world. I think I did pretty good well given the limitations of the game. Yeah, it does look like a band of gas giants. So that's a pretty nice job. So there it is underneath. You can see all the different colours all here. So pretty wild stuff indeed. I mean, look at what is that all about? What? <laughs> wow. Now that is a very wacky world. It's got city lights to boot with it as well. Very cool. That is just... Crazy. Never would have thought I'd see something like that on a rocky planet. Obviously, we've seen countless gas giants with rainbow effects, but this is pretty crazy for a rocky planet without any modding. That's all creatable in the game as well. That is... That's extreme. That is absolutely crazy. Wow, we Okay. Next up, we have got... Um, okay, this looks to be the last one. This is from Demunic, okay? It's our current champion of this season, and what is this? Oh my god. Now that. What is going on here? What is that all about? Is there some rituals going on here? Whoa. Okay, so what has he given us for this? He's got a big description. Oh my god. Eden, the doomed colony. In the year 9,211, humanity reached a very advanced level of technology that allowed for very vast travels through extremely vast distances within the galaxy. Okay. In this period, humanity colonized many Earth-like worlds in the galaxy. And there was Eden. It was the 60th human colony, 616 light years from Earth, with beautiful blue skies, full of life, lush landscapes. Eden was quite literally a paradise. It was. The little after colonization, a shocking discovery came by. Turns out the planet was not a paradise, it was the paradise. When humanity realised this, no one could believe it, but everything checked out. It was the Eden Garden the Bible talked about. Okay, we're getting a bit uh, historical here with um, old um, old stuff. Okay. Uh, several investigations proceeded in the planet to understand what was going on. All sorts of crazy conspiracies and rumours were being talked among the people. Sixty years after this, nothing. Everything was forgotten. Huge cities were built with a population of 1.1 billion. Eden was a prosperous early colony and the happiest of them all too. Three centuries later, a mysterious and remote oasis was discovered. There was a beautiful tree with a delicious looking red fruit on it. Due to the known harmless nature of all life forms on the planet, people started to eat in the fruits without thinking twice. Little after the first bite, the ground started shaking, the temperature started rising, plants started dying, water started boiling, huge cracks exposing lava started appearing all over the planet. It just took 10 minutes for 86% of the entire population to die. Whoa, now that is... That's pretty crazy. Right. Uh... Demonic beings started emerging from the depths to kill and kidnap the last remaining survivors, sending them to the hellish interiors of the planet where they would spend eternity in eternal suffering. It was all a trap planted by Lucifer itself to doom humanity. The paradise was no more. The above became a mirrored image of the below. That is insane. Pattern that shortened the description quite a lot since it didn't find the Discord like character limit. <laughs> The resolution of the surface decreases significantly after putting more five objects in the simulation. Please check the planet in a separate simulation just in case. Uh, it looks okay here. I mean, we can have a quick look, but I mean, that looks pretty pretty well done. But look at the state of that. I mean, wonder what this world once would have looked like, but it's been completely ruined. Absolutely completely ruined. And that is our last object for this competition. So that is our lineup this time round. So a very wacky line of objects here i mean this is absolutely crazy here check this out what do you think of all that so let's uh yeah grab them all in the lineup we'll go for them all once more so we'll just go make live here okay so first up we had troigi's very very weird earth which was just absolutely bonkers i mean i really like that city like so the colors do look quite nice together then we also we had demonic's world we just checked out the very satanic looking planet there absolutely insane then we had Endy's one, which was that weird earth that had become a brown dwarf there, looking pretty exotic as well. Then we had Minor, Bot or Minor Bat's Rainbow God World, which is pretty exotic looking as well. Then we had Midas Touch from VY Canis Majoris, so yeah, that's a pretty cool looking world, the World of Gold. Then we had Compact Star's Planet Icarus here. So there you go, you can see the oceans he was talking about there as well. And then lastly, we had Backdash's object here, the very sort of dark, spooky world with those uh, creatures uh, running about. So there we go. And yeah, that's the 
everyone has put their names in their planets. Thank you very much to everyone. That is great when we look back. So there we are. But with that all said and done, guys, a massive good luck to everyone in this competition. I really, really hope you guys enjoyed it as well. We'll quickly go ahead and save this simulation as well. So we'll call it... Um this is, I think this is episode 9 now, so there we go, I'll just call it Comp 4.9. Um, and we'll quickly go ahead and go into separate simulation just to see if that planet looked any different. Um, so let's go ahead and do that. Okay. I think it, I, I don't think it will look any different, but let's have a quick look here. Uh, where are we? There it is. Yeah, it looks exactly the same. It looks like I'm running the simulation, it's actually changing a bit, but... Ooh. Well, it's completely changed since I've run the simulation. Okay, that's a planet you got to keep paused. So, there it is. So, that's what it should look like. Yeah, our one looked exactly like that, didn't it? So, yeah, there we go. Let's go back to our simulation. But, um, yeah, with that all said and done, guys, I really hope you enjoyed um, today's competition. Yeah, if you did, make sure to hit that like button, subscribe for more. And, yeah, massive good luck to everyone who has um, participated in this competition. So, massive thank you to all of the guys there. And, yeah, wish you all the best of luck there. So, it's a very very wacky lineup in each planet it's different none of them relate at all so yeah pretty wild stuff but anyways enough of me babbling on guys make sure you have a great day stay safe out there and i'll see you in the next video goodbye